Okay, today I'm going to show you how to download an emulator. An emulator is a, it's a system that plays backed up files, or backed up games that come in files on the computer. So for example, Nintendo 64 emulator plays a Nintendo 64 files on the computer. Uh, the file is called ROM. Um, so I'm going to show you how to download an emulator and then the ROM for the emulator. So basically we're talking emulator is a system and a ROM is the game. It's all in the computer. It's a simple process. So first off, type in emulator zone in the search bar. It should be the first one that comes up. There's a variety. There's a bunch of Nintendo, like the GameCube, N64, Game Boy Advanced, the list goes down. Sony, the PS1, PS2, uh, Xbox, a bunch the, the Sega's, Sega Dreamcast, Genesis, whatever. Um, so, I'll, I'll give you an example of how it works, the download one. Um, I'll do a Nintendo NES. So, yeah, it doesn't matter which one you do. Just click the side bar of which one you want to do. Like, maybe you want to do a Nintendo 64. Well, then click that link. It's the exact same way. So, once you have clicked what you wanted, um, it, it'll show you the syst picture of the system. I don't know why, but okay. And then I'll show you a bunch of the emulators below. It has the JNS, the Nestopia, which is good. The JNS I downloaded before, and it doesn't really work. I don't know why. There's something wrong with it. So use the Nestopia if you're going to do an NES. That's just um, my recommendation right there. So those are the list of downloads and then once you click which um, emulator for that system you're going to download go to the very bottom of the page and you'll see you'll see it right there the link to download it doesn't take long at all to download these systems but if uh, you try to download a PS2 or an Xbox it'll take a little longer actually it'll take up quite a bit of time um, Okay, so once you finish downloading it, it would usually, co it comes out on your desktop right here. It would come out on your desktop, I already had it downloaded previously, but I am, um, yeah, it'll come out on your desktop, and all you do is double click it. It'll open. And then, um, there's these things above, file, and then file open. I, I have some ROMs already, like, um, I have Super Mario and Duck Hunt on there. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll show you how to get that. So, that you have the emulator, all you have to do is get a ROM now. Okay sounds simple. It basically is. It's just the hard part about finding ROMs is finding the site. My site is dope ROMs. Dope ROMs. I spelt it with a W. Okay, um first one you see. And it's um basically the same setup as the other site except yeah, in ROMs this time. So find your system, the NES halfway down the page if you're following me using an NES and um, find the game that you want to download whatever game you want it doesn't really matter just um, don't download a Japanese game if you're not Japanese because then <laughs> you might have a little trouble reading okay I'll just find a game there's a very very wide variety 
on this site. Especially for the NES. Um, the N64 isn't as, um, well, it doesn't have as many, but um, this has quite a bit. And it's a very, very good site to find it on. Yeah, I trust this site. It hasn't given me any trouble yet, so it's all good. Oh, there's a lot of Mario games. Um, I'll just download one. Oh well, I'll just um, I'll download Mario and Luigi. Here we go. Actually, I'll just download Mario Bros. Okay, so once you've clicked off one that you want to download, it'll bring you to this kind of screen right here. Um. You just click download, download ROM right there. Then it'll take you to that screen. Then you click the link right underneath download. Um, save to disk, so just hit OK and it'll download. It's very quick. Well, um, and then once you're finished, it would come to your desktop right there. If it doesn't come to your desktop, it might be in one of your folders. I don't know which one it would be in. Okay, so it's on your desktop. You can either put it inside a folder or just dra leave it on your desktop full time and just keep dragging it in. You could, so if you leave it on your desktop the, all the time, you just have to drag it right into your um, nest Nestopia. Yeah. And um, if you want, just um, I'll show you what to do if you're storing it in a folder. So if you want to store it away in a folder, here we go. I'll just call the folder Mario, put it in there, and then now it's in a folder. Okay. So now you open your Nestopia file, open, and you'll look in your um, in your Mario folder. So. If your folder's on your desktop, it'll be under desktop. Open your Mario folder, and it will be right in there. It's right in your Mario folder, and just double click it. And there you go. And that's it. Um, if you need any help, just um, message me or comment, whatever works for you. And that's about all. So yeah, questions or comments, PM, um, comment. I will answer you as soon as possible. Thank you. Hope this helps.